Hello there everybody and welcome back. JT Viper here, back with a properly planned and thorough video. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's waited patiently and stood by my channel as I've gone through a bit of a rough ride over the last couple of months. And I'd like to say that I'm working at making a little comeback here so that I can get back to providing all of you with quality content. Alright, with that said, let's move on to the real substance of the video, shall we? So, a topic that's been getting on a lot of nerves up here in good old Kanukistan, rustling all our maple back jimmies and grinding our snow beaner gears, has been Bill C-16, otherwise known as the Pronoun Bill. Now, before you fly off the handle, as people have been wont to do with this topic, I'd like to ask that you try to remain calm and keep your seat backs and tray tables in the upright and locked position. This video will be the first in a pair with the following purposes. One, provide a reading of Bill C-16 and its associated legislation. And two, analyze the bill, look at how it will likely be interpreted, assess the potential for its abuse, and identify any potential loopholes that may be exploited to negate its effects. This video will be nothing but a simple reading of the bill and little else. I'll be incorporating other legislation as it applies because this is an, an amendment to existing law. But it will be an essential primer for the analysis video, and of course any further discussion on the topic. Without any further ado, let's get through this reading, and for reference, Bill C-16 is, as listed here, an act to amend the Canadian Human Rights Act and the Criminal Code. This is the reading as of the first session, 42nd Parliament, 64 to 65, Elizabeth II, 2015 to 2016, House of Commons of Canada. Her Majesty, by and with the advice and consent of the Senate and House of Commons of Canada, enacts as follows. Canadian Human Rights Act. 1. Section 2 of the Canadian Human Rights Act is replaced by the following. Purpose. 2. The purpose of this Act is to extend the laws in Canada to give effect within the purview of matters coming within the legislative authority of the Parliament to the principle that all individuals should have an opportunity equal with other individuals to make for themselves the lives that they are able and wish to have, and to have their needs accommodated consistent with their duties and obligations as members of society, without being hindered in or prevented from doing so by discriminatory practices based on race, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, marital status, family status, disability or conviction for an offense for which a pardon has been granted or in respect of which a record suspension has been ordered. 2. Subsection 3.1 of the Act is replaced by the following. Prohibited grounds of discrimination. 3. Subsection 1. For all purposes of this Act, the prohibited grounds of discrimination are race, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, marital status, family status, disability, and conviction for an offense for which a pardon has been granted, or in respect of which a record suspension has been ordered. That is the amendment to the Canadian Human Rights Act. The Criminal Code Amendment reads as follows. 3. Subsection 318.4 of the Criminal Code is replaced by the following. Definition of Identifiable Group. 4. In this section, identifiable group means any section of the pop public distinguished by color, race, religion, national or ethnic origin, age, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, or physical disability. For subparagraph 718.2AI of the Act is replaced by the following. I, or one if you will. Evidence that the offense was motivated by bias, prejudice, or hate based on race, 
national or ethnic origin, language, color, religion, sex, age, mental or physical disability, sexual orientation, or gender identity or expression, or on any other similar factor. Explanatory Notes Canadian Human Rights Act, Clause 1, Existing Text of Section 2. So, of course, these are the existing portions of the legislation which are being affected here. Clause 1, Existing Text of Section 2. 2. The purpose of this Act is to extend the laws in Canada to give effect within the purview of matters coming within the legislative authority of Parliament to the principle that all individuals should have an opportunity equal with other individuals to make for themselves the lives they are able and wish to have, and to have their needs accommodated, consistent with their duties and obligations as members of society, without being hindered in or prevented from doing so, by discriminatory practices based on race, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, marital status, family status, disability or conviction for an offense for which a pardon has been granted, or in respect of which a record suspension has been ordered. Clause 2, existing text of subsection 3.1. For all purposes of this act, the prohibited grounds of discrimination are race, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, marital status, family status, disability and conviction for an offense for which a pardon has been, gr not been, gr a pardon has been granted, sorry, or in respect of which a record suspension has been ordered. Criminal Code. Clause 3, existing text of subsection 3184. In this section, identifiable group means any section of the public distinguished by color, race, religion, national or ethnic origin, age, sex, sexual orientation, or mental or physical disability. Clause 4, relevant portion of section 718.2. 718.2. A court that imposes a sentence shall also take into consideration the following principles. A. A sentence should be increased or reduced to account for any relevant aggravating or mitigating circumstances relating to the offense or the offender, and without limiting the generality of the foregoing. I. Evidence that the offense was motivated by bias, prejudice, or hate based on race, national or ethnic origin, language, color, religion, sex, age, mental or physical disability, sexual orientation, or any other similar factor, dot, 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 shall be deemed to be aggravating circumstances. This here has been a reading of Bill C-16, the otherwise known as pronoun bill that is currently being opposed by Jordan Peterson. I do believe that is Dr. Jordan Peterson of the University of Toronto and many others. For my analysis of this bill and its potential for harm, potential for healing, or whatever else may come, please check out the following video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.